Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marina from Marina Art Design and here I'm sharing my journey of turning active effort into passive income. Now, um, oh, this was nice. Okay, uh, in today's video I'm going to talk about KDP Tools Creator from Gumroad. Now, what you need to know is that two years ago I needed for my project, it's a, it was a big project, so it was very important that I have this option is I needed a tool that will change all the fonts in PowerPoint but the tool had to target not only the font type but also the font size so if I wanted to turn Arial 12 uh, so all the instances of Arial 12 inside the PowerPoint all slides to Arial 14 I could not do that even today you cannot do that because if you take a look at this, uh, this is a screenshot from the Word, and this is what you get when you activate the replace button inside Word uh, application or software, however you want to call it. Look what happens if I click the replace button inside PowerPoint. Do you see the difference in the windows? So obviously just for from this, you can see that it's completely different. Now here in Word, I can find words and match them by case. I can find whole words only. I have all these extra settings and most importantly, I can look for format. I can specifically target specific format of the word, like a uh, type of the font. Is it bolded? Is it cursive? Everything. While in PowerPoint, I cannot do and it, nothing there's nothing I just I can just change blah into blah that's it or, or maybe match case so it's uppercase or lowercase and that's it so this is nothing and this is what you get inside PowerPoint now I'm not sure why they cannot just use this why can you just I mean you are PowerPoint people you are word people you all work for Microsoft just copy paste the code of this one and put it inside PowerPoint it should be very simple to do but they are not doing that so i was digging searching around the internet i actually contacted microsoft okay this is what i need why don't you have that it's it's a simple thing change font from one value to another value it's very simple it should be simple so i was digging around trying to find a solution macro anything and i discovered on gumroad a creator called kdp tools so that's the name and uh, she had something that could work in her store, but I was not sure is it actually working the way I needed. So I contacted her, and this was two years ago, and she was super great because at the time the tool uh, she was selling sold out completely. And she sent me the macro, so that extension that is needed to swap uh, fonts precisely. So that is that was two years ago. Now, uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I'm now working on my new PowerPoint add-in. Uh, it started off like a project for me, but then because of April, April if you are watching, hi, bye. <laughs> so uh, she asked me to do something else and because I had like, okay, I need to do this for me. I need to do this for April and I need to do this for this guy and I need to do this. I just, just merge everything together. So it's like a mixture of bunch of things soon i will publish a video about the shuffler and you will see what i'm talking about so it's like all kinds of things inside and i wanted to add that macro that she gave me that i was using all the time i wanted to add that uh, permanently to be inside powerpoint so i don't have to open the presentation she sent me all the time in order to use that uh, swapper uh, i wanted to have that in build in my powerpoint add-in so i contacted her and I asked her, can I do that? Can I uh, just add your uh, font swapper inside my PowerPoint? And she said yes. And we reconnected and she shared that she is doing something. She is uh, back creating something. So it looks like uh, creators are on the roll lately. We are coming out with all kinds of things that can help you, uh, if, especially if you are using PowerPoint. Uh, so let's switch to her Gumroad store. Now the link to her Gumroad uh, store is in my description and I have to warn you, of course, it is an affiliate link. If you are not familiarized with the affiliate program, I would suggest that you start researching. It is a great system of reaching wider audience you would never get as your buyers because they would never find your work. 
that is one of the reasons sometimes uh, great products and great books never get any sales because they're not just being promoted enough. They're not actually reaching the audience. They're not wide enough to reach the proper audience. So affiliate program is great because she has email list of her own. I have email list of her own. I will share her programs with my uh, audience and she will uh, share my with her audience and we expand the audience and as a result, of course, everybody should benefit, of course, if you uh, like the products. So let's switch to her uh, Gumroad uh, store. So this is now her Gumroad store. As you can see here of the top, we have her latest product. I will show you this later on. It's a word search generator. It's an Excel based. So that is something I'm going to talk about later. But if we scroll down, this is what is important, what I want to show you. So she has all these packages for practically nothing. So the price is three uh, pounds. So that's uh, nothing. Uh, and you get 1000 different puzzles. Plus, I don't know, can you see this free puzzle book generated? Yes, you read this correctly. She is actually adding free puzzle book generator, which each of these sets. And if you scroll down, like if you scroll down and if your internet is working, you can also see that she placed the uh, that puzzle book generator for KDP as a separate product. So I'm going to click on that one right now and it's going to open up. So you see, you see it says free puzzle book generator for KDP. It's not just for KDP. You can use it for anywhere you want, but it is for publishing books. Of course, puzzle books. You have the video. Uh, that explains in short how to create a book and you have here the content and what you get inside inside the uh, inside the delivery once you buy this now as you can see here it is free so you can type here whatever you want but i would also like to point out if you scroll just a little bit down you have also this notification that if you do make uh, uh, if you type a price and you actually um, pay for the tool, like I did, uh, it is going to go to donations to Kiva. So you can also check this uh, charity as well. So for me, even if this was not the case, if there was no donation attached to this, and if the tool was still zero, I would still pay because that is how you progress. If you are not willing to pay for other people's work, and that work is helping you, then what's the point? What are we talking about here? You want to sell something to somebody and you hope that person is going to pay you. At the same time, you do not, you do not want to pay them, the other people that help you. It doesn't work like that, okay? I'm sorry, but the system just doesn't work like that. I know a lot of people like, oh, I'm poor, um, I don't have a budget. Okay, so if you don't have a budget, then you're going to use the tool that you have that you can get for free. And instead of making book in five minutes, it's going to take you two days. That is how you do it. You don't cheat, you don't scam, you don't steal other people's work and other people's software and programs and so on. Or And especially, okay, uh, the generator is $10. It's too much. No. It's not too much. I'm going to show you what she created here and I'm going to I'm going to give you a task. Just create this one button, okay? I give you a week. Create this button here, just this button here. I challenge you to create this button to see how much work she put in this tool. So just because she's giving it for free and I'm not going to I'm I'm guessing here I didn't ask actually ask her but i'm guessing here that the reason why she's giving it for free now is because she wants to get more people involved to give feedback because this is a working progress okay this is not like okay this is a puzzle generator and i'm done i'm going to go to my bed sleep for the next 10 years what happens happens she is developing uh, this uh, puzzle book generator further and of course in order to develop something she needs feedback uh, she needs people testing this, giving her suggestions, giving her constructive feedback, constructive feedback. Please don't. Oh, it's working. Goodbye. No. What system are you using? What system uh, did you test it on? Uh, is it uh, Windows 10, 11, 9, 7? Is it 95? Please. The 
purpose of, I don't know, life is to help others. Because if you help others, then hopefully they will, somebody is going to help you. That's, that's the idea we are going here. Okay. So this is a puzzle book generator. It's inside PowerPoint, as you can see it by the orange tab on the top. So let's switch back to the PowerPoint. And before you start screaming, oh, I'm being hacked, I'm being hacked, hack the planet. No, when you turn on anything that she has in her, um, in her portfolio, and that also goes for me and any other creator that is using Microsoft software, and if we have any kind of macros, if you have any kind of scripts doing something in the background, uh, and when I say doing something in the background, I'm not meaning we are stealing your data. I have zero care about what you are browsing and what are your search results. And I especially don't need to know your passwords. I don't know my password, so <laughs> please. Okay, so once you turn on her Excel file, PowerPoint file, any file, you will see this red bar on the top. Security risk, Microsoft has blocked macro blah, 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 because the file is untrusted. And then what you need to do is you need to close the Excel file, you need to close the PowerPoint, you need to find that file, and you need to right click on that file, okay? Follow me, right click on that file. If you right click on that file and click on general, you don't have to click on general, it's going to be there in front of you. Now, this thing on the bottom. This is what is important. It says security. This file came from another computer. Duh, I downloaded it from internet, so of course, and might be blocked to help protect this computer. Thank you very much. Very nice from you, Microsoft. Uh, what is happening here is that Microsoft has this system called VBA. Now, if you have no idea what is that, you don't need to know what is that. But that system is inside Microsoft. It is their system, but the trick is it is their old system. It is a uh, grandpa sitting in the background. He's, he's slow. He's still working. He's still functional. He has lots of experience, but he is slow and they don't like people using it. They don't like people using the grandpa. They want people to use nothing because they didn't replace it with anything yet. <laughs> they just don't like people using that system anymore and they are like oh let's try to force people not to use it by making it a security risk so right now if you talk to microsoft grandpa called vba they're going to give you this warning so this is not you being hacked by these four people <laughs> this is just microsoft trying his playing the game of uh, forcing people not to use the old system because they don't like it anymore because it's slow. They believe, okay, the program is slow and we want to come out like a fancy company that is uh, offering only the best, the best, the best. And we have this slow guy working in the background and uh, the, the best way to do it is just kill him off, kill him, kill the grandpa. <laughs> okay, fortunately, uh, a lot of people complained about killing the grandpa and uh, as a result, this is what they did. So they did half half. They didn't kill the grandpa, but they gave this security risk every time you use it. So that means what you need to do is click unblock because you are a fan of grandpa. Click on unblock. You like him. You will approve him. Click on unblock and click apply or OK, whichever you want. It doesn't matter. And once you do this once, that's it. So right now, once you click unblock, your computer is going to know, OK, whoever is using this computer, aka you, is okay with this file, whatever this file is doing. And that's it. And that is the same for any anything that you download from internet. And of course, if you are being safe, I'm not talking about downloading stuff from unknown sites and unknown people, but for people like her, me, or I don't know, Luke Baus and other creators on Gumroad, that have established audience, that have YouTube channels that are promoting things and you actually can talk with them and they can tell you what they're doing. So you, you, have, you have this environment of trust. Uh, you can download their stuff and you can click the unblock the grandpa here. Okay, so what, where was that? Okay, so I'm going to now open her presentation. So what happens is once you download 
her zip file you will have four uh, files inside you have two uh, word files you have a folder with sample puzzles that you can use to test out the program and you have puzzle book generator 101 so that's the uh, name of the current version and if i double click on that uh, okay you see it's opening and you will have this yellow bar now yes Microsoft is just pushing all kinds of corals here. So it says, be careful, files from internet contain viruses. Well, I have a cold right now. So I have a cold right now, so I definitely have some virus inside of me, as you can probably hear from my voice, but I don't care. So I'm going to click enable editing. And now, okay. And now this is what I was talking about. Microsoft has blocked macros, blah, blah, blah. So that means I need to turn this off. I need to right click on come on properties let me show you okay so this is the actual file this is a screenshot and this is now the actual file and I'm going to click unblock apply okay have a nice day and then I'm going to click it again and you see now I still have yellow bar but now if i click enable content i do not have the red bar anymore congratulations where we we have a winner and now we look at the ribbon now if you are not using powerpoint for drawing for clip art for you know business overall you're not going to have all bunch of these things like i have but you will have this tab on the top saying kdp puzzles now I don't know where it's going to be for you. It's going to be somewhere on the top. Just look for KDP puzzles. Click on that and you have menu. So click on menu. And now we have the menu opened up. So let's see what we have in menu. Here we have select folder. So obviously if we click on this one, it is going to guide us to the folder where we have puzzles. Now I'm going to use the folder with demo uh, puzzles that she provided with the download so I can show you how the program is working. Of course, this one is easy if you speak English or you can read English, include solutions. So if you click, it's not going to include solutions. If you click, it's going to include solutions. Instructions page, same thing. If you click and if you don't click, it's going to include instruction page and at the moment, this is the list of puzzles that she has instructions for. As I said already, this is going to increase. This is a work in progress. This is not the end of the road. So this is what you have at the moment. I'm not going to count them, blah, blah, 3, 10, maybe 15. Okay, that is what you have there. And then you have image extension. And as you can see here, if you know me, if you are a returning subscriber, you're going to see that there is not, there is no my favorite file format here. And she's going to add that soon. So in the next revision of this uh, software, you're going to have the SVG options. But at the moment you have these JPEG, PNG, GIFG, PDF, and web. you have these. Okay. Okay. Puzzle header. That's easy. Banana. Now, why am I putting banana? Because I want, I want to have banana. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go back. Let's be normal for once. <laughs> so this is the name of the puzzle file. And this is the name of the solution file. This here is, I'm going, I don't know, did you notice, but I'm going down from up to down and this is where you can pick how many puzzles uh, you want of course because i have zero and i have didn't click on anything i cannot do anything so let's select folder sample okay and uh, let's see can i change the number here no okay why i cannot uh, i click on select folder blah 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 uh maybe i need to go no <laughs> stupid i need to go deeper Oh, Filomeno. Why it says? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to edit this out. I'm not going to edit this out because I have master's degree, people, and I have. I'm entitled to be stupid. Okay, so that's my that's my privilege. So what I did is, and I'm going to show you what I did is I'm trying to access the folder you see sample puzzles and if I click OK 
double click you see there's nothing the folder is empty and you know why the folder is empty because marina where there is a zip <laughs> when there is a zip you need to unzip it unzip it extract files okay so okay so that's my bad as you can see i didn't unzip uh, there is a zip inside the zip and i forgot to unzip it so don't forget like me unzip the sample puzzles and now we are going to cook something now i'm going to click okay let's see did that change anything oh, come on sample puzzles i have got filomino okay 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 so i see okay houston once again please use your brain this was not her program this was not her doing this was just me and it's too too late at night and i have a cold <laughs> okay so i click on the folder that actually has the files and once i manage to do that five minutes later in the future i have here a selection telling me what are the puzzles how many puzzle puzzles are in that folder so it's 150 puzzles and the amount of pages i can create uh, maximum and i believe yeah oh houston we have a solution now i can actually make some difference with the with the typing here because now i have some puzzles to work with so let's say i want six no that's too much uh i want six puzzles no i want 12 puzzles 5 18 24 30 can i type here okay i cannot type the number so i have to click until i reach the desired number let's say i want to have <coughs> sorry i need to have 120 puzzles that is going to make total of 32 uh, pages and add puzzles to the list add puzzles to the list and that's it i have my 32 pages let's go back let's select like this one um, okay no what did i do now sample Maya. okay let's do this one no oh, i'm doing something very wrong Here. yes okay so i have massive uh, puzzles once again there are 150 puzzles inside i can make maximum 25 pages let's add 12 pages add puzzles to the list okay so you're adding <coughs> sorry so you're adding here how many puzzles you want what kind of puzzles you want so you are basically sorting things out so let's see can i move them filomino can i move them on top must you know i cannot move them from here so once i make them i i believe i cannot move them once i put them here in the list i cannot move them so two options either i do not know how to move them or she didn't add that and that would be one of the features i would request after the video is over i would request the ability to if i made a mistake ability to, to click on this one and move it up or down because this is going to be the order the book is going to be created change it says change selected what is change selected doing okay I need your help here <laughs> okay she's going to come and she's going to uh, help me with this one as well okay create okay this let's say this is what I want this is what I want to do at the moment and let's you know, let's, let's be smart okay so it says here change so if I do uh -huh. so if I click on this and I want to change this and I uh, know it's adding this up so how do I so if I click change is it registering the change aha it's reg okay 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 so what you are what you need to do is you click on this one click on this one and then you make the change and then you click on change again and it's going to uh, uh, apply the change that you just did okay clear selected let's uh -huh. okay so that moves that one away okay perfect 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 we are learning here we are learning here this is a brand new tool you are learning here as we go okay so we have everything this is i believe good to go there's nothing else to add here create puzzle book from the list so let's click on the green button and see what's going to happen 
Uh, click. Okie dokie. Okay, so we have something in the back. Let's move this aside. Let's see, can I... Yes, I can still with this. So with this open, with this open, I can access the param point to see what happened. So, ooh, okay, I, I'm going to cough. So I have to uh, turn my mic off for just for a second. Sorry. Okay, and I'm back. I'm back. So let's see what we have. So we have Philomena. And you cannot do anything to this one, but you need to go to... Where is the master slide? So you, you would have to go to uh, master slide to change this text if you want to change this uh, text. So you can change that in master slide. So this is just a protection on her end to make sure that people don't move things by accident. So if you do want to move or change something, you have to go to master slide. Okay, close master slide view. And once again, you see, I cannot do anything now because this is a master slide or template slide inside the master preview. And now these are the puzzles. You have the puzzle title, you have the puzzles, of course, because this is free version, you only get puzzles uh, to test out the program. So that's why they have watermark, sample, sample, sample. So you can see, is it working? Is it good enough for you? And then, of course, in order to use it, you need to get puzzles. You can get puzzles from, uh, from her, you can get puzzles from another software. It uh, doesn't matter, you can use uh, any puzzles, puzzle collection that you have and import them inside PowerPoint. Now, and as you can see, we have solutions here. 12 by page. Is it 12? 1, 2, 3? Yeah, it's 12. And we have, and then we have Masu. So the Masu is the next one. And that's it. So let's go back to this one. So that was this uh, section here. Let's go to settings. If you have any errors, if something is wrong, this is where the log is going to be. And if you experience any kind of issues, you're supposed to copy this. So copy log to clipboard and send it to her official email. So this is her official email. You need to send it to this email as well. And if you click on the logic puzzles, uh, this is all the puzzles she has at the moment at her gamut store that of course work with this software and i said of course it works with anything it works with any images so you can use this to import any kind of images inside powerpoint now let me just tell you the limitations at the moment so this is not permanent this is just at the moment limitations are that uh, you can only create a puzzle book that is let's show you the design slide size it's 8.5 times 11, so US letter size. So that's it. You cannot change the size. You cannot do it in the different dimensions. So at the moment, it's only working with 8.5 times 11 inches US letter to create. And that is something that can change. And um, where is the... Okay, so there is a Word file. There is a Word file okay there is a word file uh, uh, when you download everything you're going to get a word file and in that word file you have this note here get free puzzles so this puzzle book generator is still in beta form and they are looking for beta testers if you like to participate uh, you can uh, answer a small survey it will only take a couple of minutes and it will help them improve the tool if you participate in this survey you will get 3000 free puzzles and solutions matching solutions of course for free so all you have to do is participate in this survey uh, fill out the form. I already did that, so I'm not going to click on that. Um, maybe I could. Maybe I could just to show you the questions because you need instructions, people. Microsoft Office has identified a potential security concern. Yes, hug the planet. I want to continue. Oh, come on. Stop being silly and just work. Okay. If uh, you want to 
get that uh, 3003 uh, puzzles of course they need some way to contact you so you need to put your name and your email and now which powerpoint version are you using click on it if it's none of these type it here what is your operating system click on this if it's none of this type it in uh, did you manage to create puzzle book with interior with this tool yes no and uh, describe how many puzzles and pages and how long it took approximately so you need to do okay that is what i said the tool is free but you need to do some work you need to help people to make things better so you take your time and type and i'm giving you a task if you are watching my video i command you to write two sentences minimum two sentences please help help me help you <laughs> Did you experience any errors while running the tool? Yes, no. If you experienced the tool, you can also copy paste the error log here. And do you have anything that you would like to be added or change it in this tool? So I added uh, different dimensions, ability to uh, set how many puzzles per page, how many solutions per page. So stuff like that. If you have your own suggestions, you can put them here. Anything except please, uh, can you pay me to use your tool? Okay, don't just don't go down that road. The tool is free at the moment. Just use it if you want to use it don't use it if you do not want to use it okay and um, are there any other kinds of puzzles you'll be interested in so this is for you i clicked uh, not at the moment because for me i have my own puzzles uh, generator so uh, and i can generate literally any puzzle under the sun so uh, this is not something that interests me but of course she is developing this and I'm going to support her fully. So if you are interested in different kinds of puzzles, type them down here. And then here you have what would be the fair price for 1000 puzzles and solutions. Now, um, this is also a question I could not answer because I have a puzzle generator. So to me, I paid for puzzle generator. I don't know. It was uh, eight, 80 pounds, $80, something around that. And uh, what else? Um, uh, yeah, right now it's uh, all the time you have these sales. Uh, soon it's going to be Black Friday. I'm going to make another video about the Black uh, Friday deals that are coming up. So uh, this is, I would just say that you type this honestly, try to be honest, 100% honest and type the value here. How much do you value 1000 puzzles and solutions? Because I'm just going to give you my example. So let's say in my case, in my scenario, I have puzzle generator and that's like, okay, that's a perfect Marina. Good for you. You can make thousands of puzzle books every day. Uh, uh, no, sorry. It doesn't work like that. Just because I have a puzzle generator, that doesn't mean I can make thousands of books a day. That actually makes things worse. If I had a puzzle generator that can make Sudoku and that's it, that's everything I have on my computer, my life would be so much easier. Okay, because, ah, okay, I open my eyes in the morning and what I'm going to do today, make Sudoku books. Okay, that's it. But uh, opposite to that, I have generators that can produce <laughs> thousands and billions of different puzzles. And I wake up in the morning and I say, Marina, what are you going to do today? Mm, I'm going to make 1,200 different puzzle books. And you know what what's end up happening? I don't make one, one single book, entire day. I'm just skipping from one puzzle book to the other. Let, let's change the drawing on this one. Let's change the cover on this one. Oh, I just remember that font I used through everything, like everything, 3000 presentations, that font I used in those presentations, huh? I don't like it anymore. Hmm. No, I'm going to change it. And for next week, I'm changing font in 3000 PowerPoints because I woke up one day and decided I'm not liking that font anymore. So please trust me, the less you have, the more you have. <laughs> and will you be willing to test upgrades of this tool in the future? Yes, 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 yes. Click on yes, because of course we want to test and help her. Okay, so that was the puzzle generator okay let's turn it off and let's go to the word search now i believe the word search is paid tool and it should be paid tool because 
In order to make equations and stuff in Excel, it's also very long procedure. And also, you'll be getting words. So she's not just giving you words to a generator. She's also giving you a set of words. So just this collection is worth the 20 bucks. I believe it's 20. Yes. So the price is $20. Uh, United States dollars. Of course, if you are in Europe like me, plus taxes. Everything has taxes, even digital files. Crazy. So let's open that one. Oh, I know, I know what's going to happen. Oh, I already know. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay. Once again, the computer is telling me, <laughs> come on, Microsoft, get it together. So once again, I need two properties. So I need to do the same thing with this one. I need to click unblock. Okay, come on. Come on. <coughs> and this is the word search generator inside Excel. So if I click on the menu, okay, so we are back. I had to cough again. Yeah, yeah, that is. And let's click on the menu. And this is the menu of the word search. Puzzle. Okay, so this is a bit. <coughs> Sorry, this is. I had to cough again. Okay, so uh, word search puzzles generator. Here you can select uh, height and width of the puzzle. Let's make it narrower and let's uh, height is good, width is narrower because I want it to fit the US uh, letter size. Words 24, that's okay. Number of puzzles, let's do 10. And let's use, here you can select the list of words. Let's go with animals. I want to have animals. Here you can type your own title or you can use the title of the word list and you can also put that the solutions are not just random letters, solutions are actually uh, something else. You can use positive quotes, you can use animal trivia or you can type in your own sentences inside. Now I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to click no. Uh, no phrases, save puzzle and solutions, random order and I believe that's it and let's click create puzzle to see what's going to happen so it is working it is creating puzzles as PNG in the folder I uh, selected uh, so little break in Excel. your PC cannot keep up processing the puzzle images so little break is necessary close this box to continue Okay, 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 and that is probably because I'm running a high resolution recording in the background and I'm not in my office at the moment, so uh, that is, I don't have the strong computer with me, but it is done, it is working, so here in the settings I have the folder, I can pick the folder where the puzzles are going to be um, um, uh, saved or exported. I can pick the color of the solution. I can also adjust puzzle generator speed. So for example, you can maybe make this slower. So if uh, you want to uh, make it easier for your computer or if you have a slower computer, you can reduce the generation speed and then just run the generator and then leave it uh, running for a couple of uh, minutes while you do jumping jacks or some exercise around. And create interior. So you have the option to automatically create interior from the buzz puzzles you created. So how many puzzles? 10. So I have 10 uh, puzzles and let's click on create and that's it you have you have puzzle book i'm not going to touch it because i can see it's still uh, moving completed in 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, seconds and this is your powerpoint file with the puzzles and solutions at the end and you can move the solutions around you can change them you can uh, do whatever you want with them you can uh, shift them around let's see do we have <coughs> <coughs> sorry 
do we have in the settings how many solutions per page? Uh, no, no here. Uh, no. Okay, so that is also something uh, that uh, she could probably add in the future to for you to be able to select how many uh, solutions per uh, page. Because in this case, in, as you can see, in this scenario, because I choose a uh, higher puzzle, it can comfortably fit four uh, solutions. Six is, as you can see, two much so it will be four but i can easily move this around so that's not issue for me i would uh, i would do this so it as i said if you are comfortable with, with the powerpoint this is an easy task of course right now in front of you i'm doing it manually but i have my own tools uh, in the ribbon that can do this automatically by looking at the name of uh, the puzzle so let's see of the objects so one is picture this is picture four this is picture six this is okay so every image has a different name so that's good that means I can process these images with automation system I don't have to do this manually but that is just something that I'm going to send as a recommendation that we are able in the future of course that we are able to pick how many solutions per uh, per page and of course this is only working on US letter at the moment this is all in beta so it is going to be and that's the reason of course why the price is so low so all, all of this for just twenty dollars that's nothing that's literally nothing for all the work that is being done in the background of these softwares and that's it let we can also just check one more time her store what else do we have here so she has she has maze generator she has all the puzzles that are connected with the puzzle book uh, generator what else oh i love these i believe I, I remember these from two years ago i've seen these books and i really love them love how they look like and uh, word search puzzle generator for uh, kdp i believe this is a simple version so you can test out is it working and uh, 28,000 quotes including public domain quotes okay that's interesting for three dollars okay and qr code puzzle generator i'm going to research once i'm off okay i can do that on the video why not i'm going to research this one as well it looks interesting not not okay you need to understand i love logic puzzles so i love logic puzzles so when i say looks interesting i'm not like oh kdp i'm going to make kdp please looks no, no i'm looking this for me because i need to get myself my retirement plan when i'm going to just sit down and solve all these puzzles <laughs> so i'm going to take a look what is this i'm going to research she has a video great so i'm going to look at that video and I'm going to get the QR. And what else? I believe I saw nonogram. Yes, she has nonogram. And yes, it's in Excel. Yeah, yeah, it's an Excel. I knew this. I believe I have something similar. I have something similar. But this one looks nice. This one looks nice. So I'm going to get this one as well. What's the price? Uh, free version to see if it's working. That's not what I want. Five dollars. Okay, so I'm going to get that one as well. I'm going to be shopping once I turn off this video. What else? Keyword optimizing tool for Amazon. This looks very interesting. Keywords optimizing tool for KDP. Save time. Blah blah blah. Twenty. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, this one is interesting. I have already something similar to this one. So if you do not have anything. You can use this so what this one is doing is if you type all the words it's going to rearrange the words so you have uh, so you have uh, opportunity to use maximum uh, character count so it's going to shuffle the words around 
in order to uh, utilize the maximum amount of characters in each box because I believe you have 50 uh, characters in each box so if you put 42 in one box 38 in another box you are basically wasting 10 characters right there so this is shuffling that around to give you the best optimal uh, character count in all seven uh, keywords boxes what else and let's scroll down sudoku puzzles weekly planners i have no plans whatsoever i just wake up and do things i have plans but uh, then i make plans for my plans and then it's not going to end up well kdp page and margin setup so i have this already so if you need this go check it out uh, create quotes for every page on every blah blah no keywords uh, kdp keywords shuffle tool okay let's check this one what this one is it the same as the other one uh, hmm. let's see do we have an image open up the image oh this one this one looks fancier so it's a fancier version of that uh, of that uh, that excel one it looks nicer yes you slap a pink on there and i'm buying it <laughs> okay what else i saw something as well and uh, this one this is the one you see zero left this is the tool i uh, wanted to buy two years ago and it is sold out and it is superb I hope she's going to revive this one because this tool is really great. You can do all kinds of things inside PowerPoint with this uh, tool. And um, yeah. Okay. That's it from me for this video. That was my uh, review of uh, KDP uh, Tools Gumroad Creator. I've shown you what she has in her store. I've shown you the, the two uh, main uh, products. For me, for example, word search generator and the uh, puzzle book generator that you can get here for free. And it, maybe you can actually get it. Why is this one? Oh, I believe this one is an error here. Yeah, it's it was okay. It was just showing wrong for me. It's, uh, it's it was showing zero, so I was I was already scared that she didn't type the price here. But as you can see, it's just three pounds. So for three pounds, you get one thousand puzzles and the free puzzle book generator. So maybe you can skip the middleman and pick one of the puzzles and just uh, get one of the puzzles and get the generator included inside. So it, of course, these puzzles are not going to have that sample watermark on top, so you can use them automatically. Uh, to create uh, books okay uh, that's it that's the end of the video if you have any questions ask me down below as uh, usual until the next video i'll see you down below in the comments stay safe everybody and drink lots of tea unless you are in australia that has summer then uh, drink iced tea okay bye